Hi everybody, it's Monday, August 24th. I am Ann Fenlison, one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Long Lake, Minnesota. Welcome. Last week I teased you that I wanted to talk a little bit about the Book of Lamentations, so that is indeed what I'm going to be doing this week, today and uh, Wednesday. And I want to talk, I want to preface this by uh, referencing the times of the wilderness that we see, especially in the Old Testament with Moses and the Israelites wandering for uh, 40 years in the wilderness, which was a time of great unknown. Um, so there in the history, in our biblical history, there are many times of unknowns and one that happens later, uh, which we hear about mostly in the prophets, uh, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, is this exile to Babylon. It happened with the destruction of the temple in the year 586 BC. And uh, the Jews were scattered, were driven out of Jerusalem because their, uh, their temple was destroyed and they were sent to Babylon and held captive there for around 70 years. This was a time of struggle for them. They had no idea. It was all unknown. Um, and God was working in and through them through this period. Uh, Je uh, Jeremiah and Ezekiel both wrote uh, before the exile and during the exile and the prophet Isaiah, his writings, his three scrolls deal with before, during, and after. And so this book of Lamentations is sandwiched between Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Uh, for a time, uh, biblical scholarship believed that Jeremiah was the writer of Lamentations. You know, there are always things that go against that or for. I'll just leave that here, but I also want to mention that we do not hear a lot about Lamentations in our lectionary, the, the, the thing that tells us what we want to read scripture-wise each Sunday. Lamentations does not show up often. Last year, this, the year we're, we're finishing up right before Advent, we didn't hear about it at all. In year B, which starts in on um, the first Sunday in Advent, uh, we will hear from Lamentations, but that won't be until June. So uh, I'm thinking a lot about the unknowns and the suffering that happens in times of unknown. And I believe that we are in a bit of wilderness right now, a time of unknowns. We've got uh, several factors that are contributing to that uh, pandemic, uh, the killing of George Floyd, which is revealing to us as we work through uh, what we saw come out of this, uh, that systemic oppression is, a, is huge and uh, it oppresses our brothers and sisters of color. Uh, also, the polarization of the current political climate and to top that off, Pastor Brian's retirement. So all of this stuff is rolled into one big ball of unknowns. And that's also, uh, in when we're in a period of unknown, it, is, can, it can be a time of suffering and trauma for us as well. And that's why I think it's a, a perfect time for us to look at Lamentations to see what it has to say to us. So a bit about the structure of the book. It's composed of five chapters or five poems, as they're called. And um, they're uh, geared at remembering the annihilation or being in the annihilation of the temple in Jerusalem and the people in exile and speaking to the grief that they are feeling because of that exile. It's a book that addresses this grief, and it's an unmanageable and overwhelming grief, and there's not a lot of happiness there. <laughs> we in the 21st century are, experience, are, are experiencing a different kind of grief and mourning here, um, but those feelings take place deep within us, and we often do not recognize them. We don't want to bring them up because they are very unpleasant, and we get good at locking them away. But when we lock those feelings away, we also cannot heal from them. So through Lamentations, we journey uh, into the dark and despairing corners of our human hearts. And um, the book itself actually ends on a note of sheer hopelessness, with the writer calling out, you know, God, where are you? Have you forgotten us? Why have you forgotten us? So Lamentations takes our deepest grief of where we are right now, and brings it out into the open. It gives voice to that because uh, those people from thousands of years ago who experienced that utter devastation, they experienced the worst, worst that life could throw at them. They.
can teach us now how we can move through this deep grief and fear we may be feeling over the unknowns that are ahead. So in my video for Wednesday, I want to talk a little bit more about lamentations, but in the meantime, please go get a Bible. It works if you have one that you can actually physically hold. Sorry about the noise. The groundskeepers are here today. Uh, but check, check into how lamentations is structured, how it's built, what happens right in the middle of that book, because there is an important turn that takes place. It's one that I'm going to talk about, and it's one I'd like you to do a little bit homework if you have some time, and figure out what that turn is. I'll see you on Wednesday. We'll talk about this just a little bit more. Take care. Bye-bye.